Hello everyone, welcome to the show. What I decided to do today was make a video. Um, it was requested a while back and then I kind of asked in the, uh, in the uh, comments the other day um, in description what people would think about what if they want to see what I use to make my videos. Well, the music side anyway. Um, I can go into the video side just by simply saying power, power, uh, power director or any kind of software like that it's all done on my phone but to get the music into the computer and into my phone to use it to make my overlays all of the work is done right here in this camper using my boss gt1 as you can see here and the boss gt1 simply my guitar plugs into and then it comes out into the focus right scarlet solo right here i'm sorry uh by the way i am in a camper so the fans and acs will kick on um keeps Rue and i kind of cool and dry i have it on a uh, dehumidifier right now um and then of course from the focus right scarlet solo got a crackhead on a motorcycle out there we got plenty of those um anyway into the computer and then I look at the DAW right here on this uh, computer monitor. I engage one track, usually by looping on the Boss GT1. I'll find a loop and make it and just listen to it. The sound is all coming out of these Truth 2030A monitors. So most of my listening comes through here, and there's no drums or anything like that uh, lately, so um, mixing isn't all that easy because it's all mid-range, right, coming from a guitar. Um, and I just use Reaper, right? So and then I'll arm a second track and overlay what I looped for about five minutes, let that run on a track, and then overlay on a second track, and then I'll usually take my phone, which I'm using right here, and point it at me, and then hit play or record on the solo track and as I'm listening I'm recording then what I do is I take the song after I'm finished with it if I think it's kind of okay um, and then I save it to an mp3 then I take it from the phone from the computer to one of these cords and uh, USB-C there and put it into the phone and uh, push it to my files then I go into Power Director, and from there, that's it. I uh, hit audio backing on that, you know, and just line it up uh, to the solo video. And then I'll use little overlays, what I feel might kind of reflect the, the emotions or whatever. And that's it, man. I told you it was simple. <laughs> but that's all of my tools. Once again, the Boss GT1 into the Scarlet Solo input, just one input. And then from the Scarlet Solo, of course, it feeds into the computer down here. And then it displays up here on the monitor. The sound coming out is also from these monitors here. And that's it. That's all my tools. So that's the Boss GT1 computer uh, and Scarlet Solo. So what does that say? That says a lot of my credit I give to this. Uh, and uh, to be honest with you, the Scarlet Solo guy is around 100 bucks. Do yourself a favor if you don't get a Scarlet Solo. Um, if you like the preamp sounds that I'm using, a lot of that I give credit. When you plug this thing in, even um, you know without the GT1, the Scarlet Solo sounds great. It's got a great preamp in it. I knew nothing about uh, interfaces, and I feared them. I don't know why. Uh, it had to do with, I didn't want to learn all this software. I just wanted to plug in and play. But I'm very fortunate that I listened to CCJ Music, uh, Ben Powers at the time, and Axis 2084. I listened to them. They kept saying, dude, you've got to get an interface, man. You know, because I was using room sound coming from the speaker or headphone out into these little PC speakers plugged directly into it. Now, that's great for practice. All those old videos, that's what I was using. Before that, I had an amp and uh, was just using the built-in effects in the amp, and it just didn't sound that good to me. 
So that's what I've done, and for two years now, I've been playing guitar and practicing, and the latest videos that you hear me playing, that's the effect of me teaching myself how to play using the tools that you see in this video. Uh, so that's it, man. Um, so what I thought I would do is maybe walk you through using these tools, and uh, that way you'll kind of see me and the guitar and my buddy over here, the producer, Rue. All right. And that's it. And uh, here's the whole area. As I pan back, if you want to see what the little area looks like, all of my work is done right here. Right where Rue's sitting. Say hey, Woo. So yeah, that's it, man. That's my little area. I usually set it down on that little carpet. That's it. I set the, the GT1 down there. And so I'll see you guys in a minute with that. And we'll see what we can come up with. All right, peace. Okay guys, so uh, we're armed, hit record, and swell in something maybe. let that go so I'm gonna pause it here we're gonna let that loop for about a minute or two and there it is you can see that it's just sitting there looping it's a little you can see it's a little loud uh, but I can turn that down later so that's what's happening right now all right Okay, just to keep this short, I cut it because this isn't going to be something that I'm like keeping or anything. It's just to show you guys what I'm doing. Then I would overlay that. So let's hit play. And uh, I'll just keep it on this patch for now. And I'll overlay it. So you'll hear as I overlay it. save all disarm those that's those two tracks and then here we go now something like that then I would come through and like solo it um, so now you'll see I've got these two tracks hopefully now I've armed another one which will have a little bit of Valhalla on it and uh, and that's when I would normally turn the, the thing on here it record
So that's it that's how I do it that's it in a nutshell right so then um, just hit save right and then that's it now now they're all three playing now I can save it like that I can tweak it and do whatever I mean that's just a big mess there I made but I'm just saying that's how I do it that oops sorry I got a wire connect to it that's how I make it's how I make it it's that easy for hanging out with my tutorial here i had a blast with you i tried to make it kind of short and sweet because i've been i've been telling everybody i wanted to make one of these you know for a while and i hadn't gotten to it yet so i hope this helps someone out you know uh i might try to start doing like little tutorials you know like things that i have learned that i think were a big help for me um and then pass it on to the next guy uh i'm still in my beginner stages like learning all this stuff man it's i'm clinging to the easier stuff because i don't i don't go too far out of a zone that i'm not familiar with uh uh which for me is a good thing because i like i like just finding just that bare minimum to get the message across sometimes i get a little wild or whatever i think i i stray away or whatever but for the main part i i just i really enjoy what i do uh and I'm lucky because of that. I don't want to be the fastest. I don't want to be the most intricate. Those were my drumming days. Even then, it wasn't about speed so much for me. I guess at some points it was uh, for single stroke rolls and stuff. But anyway, man, like to be honest with you, it's about me being able to express myself. And with what I've learned so far, I'm very happy with. I love. Who wouldn't want to be further than what they are? I'm just saying. I'm two years in, really good two years in, um, and that's not every day, but that's almost every day for the first couple, first probably 14 months, if you've seen my videos, they were like day-to-day, -day, every day uploads. Uh, and it was around, to be honest with you, around 2019 when I started picking it up every day. When you started seeing those videos kicking in, if you go back and you look at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019, that's when I started picking them up. So it's been a couple of years now, and I just wanted to share uh how i'm putting my music together now so i hope you guys enjoyed it sorry about the audio quality and the video quality man i'm just a budget little channel um if you'd like to know any more if there's anything else i can do um i'd love to help i hope this turned out kind of okay you know um and most of all guys thank you so much for all your support i truly appreciate it I don't, it seems like it'll be forever before those last 50 subs will hit and I hit a thousand. It's just a small little goal I had. So it would be incredible to hit it. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's, unless you know the right people or you do those collab, uh, collab videos with, uh, what do you call that? That 
Kalat, that, that Salib or whoever, uh, that dude in Indonesia, amazing guy. Uh, I just want to do this on my own with just with only what I have to offer. I don't want to use any outer sources to grow anything. I, I, it's just who I am. Um, but hats off to all you guys that have that have done amazing things in such short times. It's incredible. Um, we're all fortunate to have a platform here, and this gives me something to do in my age, man, in my situation. So, uh, all the power to me and all the power to you, right? So, with that said, guys, stay you. Thank you for your support. Ruth says hi, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.